If there's one thing I've learned in life, it's that the most beautiful stories are often the ones that take their time to unfold. Take my career, for instance. Today, we gather here to celebrate a love story that began long before Morgan and Melissa exchanged their vows. It's a story that was written with patience, friendship, and a shared journey that started when they met at Gaston Day. Morgan and Melissa, you are the living proof that true love finds its way, even if it takes a little longer. Your journey from friends to partners is a testament to the depth of your connection. And as parents, we couldn't be happier to witness the blossoming of your love. Morgan, I remember the day that Tom Davis looked up at me as you were being born as though it were yesterday. It's a beautiful moment. We've watched you grow from a young boy into the remarkable man you are today. Your hard work, determination, and dedication to everything you do have always filled us with pride. Whether it was playing the guitar or practicing tennis, your dedication is incredible. You've not only excelled in your career, but you've also shown kindness and care to everyone around you. We are all better people because we know Morgan Bean. Melissa, you've been like a daughter to us from the beginning, and today we officially welcome you into our family. That was the part, the better for worse type thing. That's what they were talking about. <laughs> your warm heart, your gregarious nature, your incredible work ethic, and the way you've embraced life have brought so much joy into our lives. We've seen how much you care for others, and especially Morgan. It's no surprise that you and Morgan are such a perfect match. Not to mention, you have an incredible sense of humor that keeps us all smiling, even in stressful beam moments. I've known Morgan and my family's known Morgan most of his adult life and uh, Melissa came into our life I guess in my life four years ago so I've got to know her well and as I spent the last two months talking about children and finance and home life and hard life and just life in general I got to know him at a deeper level and I'm confident of one thing for sure that this relationship is God ordained and this marriage is God ordained. Real love is something beyond the warmth and glow, the excitement and romance of being deeply in love. It is caring as much about the welfare and happiness of your marriage partner as you do your own. But real love is not just being totally taken up with each other, but it's looking outward in the same direction together. Love makes burdens lighter because you can divide them. It makes joys more intense because you can share them. It makes you stronger so you can reach out and become involved in life and live in harmony. I'm Morgan, affirm my love to you, Melissa, as I invite you to share my life. You are the most beautiful, smart, and generous person I have ever known. 
and I promise always to respect you. With kindness, <laughs> unselfishness, and trust, I will work by your side to create a wonderful life together. I take you, Melissa, to be my lawful wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better or for worse, for richer or for poorer, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shall live. Morgan, I love you. You are my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage <laughs> and inspire you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you <laughs> in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is in the effort. I promise to cherish you and always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today and all of the days of our lives. I now pronounce you one together. You are now husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. Woo! For the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Morgan and Melissa Bean. You both have the incredible ability to light up any room with your presence. People gravitate to you, but instead of jealously fighting for your time, you bring all together and turn even small gatherings into a large party. Your circle of friends is a testament to the love and kindness you spread wherever you go, and your friends become our friends. Your love story is not just a celebration of your union, but a reminder of the power of patience, friendship, hard work, and the beauty of love that grows over time. So as the band is preparing to play me off stage, let us raise our glasses high to Morgan and Melissa, a couple whose love story is as beautiful as it is inspiring. <laughs> Cheers. Dear Melissa, it seems like only yesterday that I was ringing the doorbell at your Queensberry house to pick your mom up for our first date. Your grandmother answered the door and half hiding behind her there was this cute little blonde girl staring at me. She didn't seem quite know what to make of me. Honestly, I didn't know what to make of her either. I had no idea whether I'd ever see this little girl again once this date was over. Yet nine months later, your mom and I were engaged, and not too long after, I became a stepfather to that cute little blonde girl that didn't quite know what to make of me. Now, after the years of watching you grow from that cute little blonde girl into the beautiful young woman you've become, I know, or at least I think I do, what to make of you. In my mind and heart, you are my daughter. Maybe not biologically, but in every other way, and that is what counts. And soon, too soon, you'll be graduating from college and moving on to the next stage of your life. And as scary and intimidating as that seems, you'll be fine. Remembering the hair pulling frustration trying to help you again with your sixth grade math homework, part of me thought this day wouldn't and couldn't come but you worked hard and here it is. And I'm very proud of you. Still not quite sure what you make of me. I hope that you think of me in the ways that really count as your daddy. Love, Freddie.